In the history, you typically hear a story about pain which is localizing in a specific part of the abdomen. Um, pain can be disseminated and uh, be concerning for a surgical abdomen. Uh, it's not just the history, but really more importantly, the physical exam. It's the signs of what surgeons refer to as peritonitis, the signs of inflammation of the peritoneal cavity, which are most concerning for a surgical abdomen. So if the pain was acute and localized, it's a little bit of a red flag. Correct. That, that is, for example, localized pain in the right lower quadrant uh, is concerning for appendicitis. But we have to remember that when uh, the appendix perforates and there's disseminated peritonitis, the pain will be generalized. So while localized pain is concerning, it does not mean that you can't have a surgical problem if the pain is diffuse. And sometimes with eruptions, they have a little calm period where the pain actually is gone? That's what the textbook says. I'm not really sure that occurs, but um, that's what's reported to be the case. Well, the, the kid may not be crying out in pain, maybe he's healing because it's not the same intensity. Right. When the appendix, per, when, when a child has appendicitis uh, and it, the pain is localized, uh, there is peritoneal inflammation in the right lower quadrant from inflammatory products from the obstructed appendix. With perforation, there is a sudden surge of uh, materials from the uh, appendix that can permeate around the abdomen and cause worse pain. So, in, a, in other words, if you're not sure, it should be evaluated by someone. You don't sit on some of these things for days and days if it's really acute pain. Is that true? Absolutely. Uh, appendicitis uh, is preferentially diagnosed uh, before it ruptures. I think most people realize that. Uh, the appendix will typically progress to perforation uh, within 48 to 72 hours. Of the, uh, the treatment of appendicitis been, has been turned on its head in the last 15 to 20 years. Uh, while everybody understands that uh, appendicitis typically requires surgery, it's the timing of surgery which has changed. Uh, most surgeons agree that acute appendicitis, in which the surgeon doesn't think the appendix is ruptured, that should be operated on in a timely fashion. If the appendix is perforated, however, and that perforation is contained in a loculated pocket, a lot of surgeons feel that you're better off leaving it alone and treating with antibiotics. In the process of operating on that child, the collection of infection in the right lower quadrant will be disseminated around the abdomen and thus the patient will be converted from a child who is relatively well appearing with perforation to one who's quite ill. The hope is that you don't have to operate. You have to continually reassess the patient on a daily basis to make sure that they are improving. If the child does not get better on non-operative management with intravenous antibiotics, then surgery may in fact be indicated.